I'd like to show you the benefits of a landing pattern, uh, traffic pattern, and how it can help you improve your landings time after time. As you can see here from my flight path, the landing traffic pattern is simply a rectangle pattern around the airfield. You have your upwind leg, crosswind, downwind, base, and final. I'm going to explain each of these in detail as we go into the aircraft. Here we are at Offutt Air Force Base holding short runway 30 in an F-18. I'm going to show you how to fly a traffic pattern, how it can give you certain benchmarks in order to perfect your landing. We've already received clearance to take off, so we're going to check final and we're going to head out. As we go out, I'm going to drop our first notch of flaps for takeoffs. Want to keep in mind that the landing speed for this aircraft is about 150 knots. Let the engines run up a little bit. The trim has already been checked. Once they level out, we can hit full throttle, and here we go. We want to rotate about 200 knots. Rotate. Out of burner, got a positive rate, gear up, flaps up. Pattern altitude for jet aircraft is around 2,500 feet at most airports. We're going to climb to 2,500, 300 feet before we're going to start our turn on the crosswind, which is about 2,100 feet. We're going to use the HSI to help us determine exactly 90 degrees from our starting heading. Right now we took off from runway 30, which is about 350 degrees. There's 2100, here's our turn of the crosswind. 90 degrees to the left. You can watch that 30 degrees move all the way over until it's exactly right. I'm going to try and hold 2,500 feet about the two. And roll out. As you can see, we got a little bit high, but that's okay. We're right now perpendicular to the runway. Once it's about 45 degrees behind our shoulder, we're going to start our turn onto downwind. Again, another 90 degrees to the left. And roll out. Now perpendicular to the runway. We're going to try and hold around 250 knots. That way when we drop the gear, it will be nice and easy to get down to 240 knots, which is the maximum speed for extended gear.
once we beam our landing point, we're going to drop the gear until we turn on to our base leg, at which point we will drop our first notch of flaps, and then once we reach final, we'll drop our final notch of flaps. There's our landing point, gear down. Four zero zero, clear, touch and go, left traffic, runway three zero. Clear, touch and go, runway three zero. This is also Four where we will begin zero. our descent. Try to keep about 500 feet per minute. There's 45 degrees. We want to now turn 90 degrees to the left onto base. and roll out. First notch of flaps. I'd like to explain a bit of the symbology on the HUD in order to help you perfect your landing. This is the flight path marker. This shows you where your aircraft will go if you continue on your current path. This is your attitude indicator. This helps you to perfect your angle of attack and your landing speed. In order to perfect it, you want to put the flight path marker right in the middle of the attitude indicator. This also shows you right here. If this is above the flight path marker, it wants you to throttle down. If it's below it, you should throttle up. A similar symbology is on this. If this light shows up, you should throttle down. And if the upper light turns on, you should throttle up. You're aiming for the donut here. That means the flight path marker is in the middle of the indicator here. Once you're on final, you want to put the flight path marker right on the threshold of the runway and in the middle of this indicator. That will give you the perfect landing every time. Let's continue on and we'll continue our approach. As you can see, the path being the case, we're a little bit of above the glide, glide slip. That's okay. We're going to start our turn on to base. Get close, we're going to drop the final notch of flaps. There we go, the pappy shows we are right on the glide slope. So now we just have to put the flight path marker right on the threshold. Remember, I said this aircraft lands at about 150 knots. That's right where you want to keep it in order to put the flight path marker right on the threshold and follow the slope, the glide slope, all the way down. If it gets a little bit low, push the throttle up. It gets a little bit high, pull the throttle back. It should be full flaps, gear down. Control your altitude with the throttle, not with the nose. Once we touch down, we'll lift up the flaps and we'll drop the speed brake. Now that we're established on the runway, we're going to drop the throttle, parallel the runway, and flare. Lift the flaps, pop the speed brake, keep the nose up to maximize braking. Let the nose glide down all by itself. Once below 90 knots, 
hooked up the speed brake and you can use your wheel brakes. That should give you a perfect landing every time. 